we have three lenses first we need to find the point of convergence of parallel ray so basically if you have an object at infinity where will be the final focus of the system second is distance between the first lens and a point if point and image are located symmetrically so if the object is here and let's say the final image is here then if uh, basically this distance should be same as this distance so in that case what will be the value of this a so let's solve that so this is a converging lens diverging and converging so let's say the object is at a distance a and after passing through the first converging lens let's say the image forms here which is at a distance x from the first lens so this becomes phi minus x and this will be the object for the second lens and the second image will let's say forms at y so this becomes phi minus y and the final image forms at z now power of the lenses is given so we can we'll first find the just the focal length of the lenses so focal length is 1 upon power power is in si units so if we convert that into centimeter we get f is equal to 10 centimeter so focal length of this is minus 10 and again plus 10 now we'll just find the positions of i1, i2 and i3 using our lens formula which is this. So for the first lens, so 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f. So v is at x. So with our sign conventions, right side is positive. So minus 1 by u, so u will be minus a. <coughs> so here a, x, everything a, y, phi minus a, z, all the all of these numbers they represent the physical numbers so if a is plus 5 that means this object is towards right so here a if you actually put the value a let's say will come to be minus 5 so we'll put the signs appropriate signs therefore so if a is a number then because it is on the left side we have to put u as minus a so this for the first lens now for the second lens object is at phi minus x with our sign convention it will be minus of phi minus x and image is towards right at y so 1 by y is equal to 1 upon minus 10 now this is the object for this lens so minus of phi minus y and here v at is at z so we have to put the value of x from here to here and then we need to put the value of y from here to here so you will get a relation between a and z so basically we will get rid of x and we will get, get rid of y so when we get the relation between a and z so you can see if i put the value of a as minus infinity then i will get the value of z as 10 by 3 so I'm not solving it, you can just do that. So if you, let's say, so if you play, okay, I'll do the first one. So if a is minus infinity, this term becomes zero. So x becomes plus 10. So now we put the value of x here, which is plus 10. So this becomes phi minus 10 minus five, minus minus becomes positive, but there is another minus here. So this goes to the right side. So one by y becomes one by five minus one by 10, which comes to be plus 1 by 10 so 1 by y is plus 1 by 10 so y is 10 now we put the value of uh, y is equal to 10 here and then you will find the value of z to be 10 by 3 so that is our first part when the ray is parallel so parallel ray means a is minus infinity now second part distance between the first lens uh, point and the image are located symmetrically so a is equal to z so this time i'm not solving it you can do that and you will get the value of a to be 50 by 3 which will be our answer